How to go on a date to the movies. Hello and welcome to Video Joe. Lights, camera, action, overpriced snacks, annoying audience members, obscured views, derivative screwball comedies, lack of chemistry between overpaid stars, and predictable last scenes. If you can enjoy the public movie-going experience while on a date, then you know you're compatible. Here's Video Jug's guide to being part of your very own blockbuster. Step 1. That film you want to see. If you're in the early stages of your relationship, then you may be pretending you want to see certain films to make yourself seem sophisticated and intellectual. Out of politeness, your new partner might agree. The result is that you both sit through some arthouse nonsense full of subtext and juxtaposition. Forget that. Be honest. Then you could see Stallone in Rock Hard 4 or Clooney in that new comedy, Touch My Tukas. Step 2. How to decide. If you've got to that stage in your relationship where you can both be brutally honest, then beware. If she loves action thrillers and he's a sucker for kids' adventures, then devise a method of choosing what you see. Either take it in turns, play scissors, paper, stone, or just be gentlemanly about it. If you are often at loggerheads about what to see, then decide before you get there. Otherwise you might row or be tempted to go to separate movies. This would clearly be the worst date ever and would probably mark the end of your relationship. Step 3. Snacks. Sometime, somewhere, a movie mogul decided that popcorn should be the movie snack of choice. He was an idiot, because it's the loudest food in the world, rendering whole lines of dialogue inaudible for you and your date. If you must have it, try and shovel it all in before the main feature starts, or your date will hate you. The other paradox about popcorn is that it can only be eaten attractively in single pieces, but is only tasty in mouthfuls. So to appreciate it, you're going to look disgusting. All in all, ice cream is a far better bet for a date. Step 4. Bigness. Get rid of that big hat or big hair. Few things are more annoying than an obscured movie screen. If your date suffers from this, then offer to switch seats, or even have a gentle word with the offender. Also, keep big laughs to a minimum, particularly if you have a strange one. You don't want to be set upon by the rest of the audience. Your date may decide she's with them. After the curtains close, you can judge how well the date has gone by which scenes in the movie you end up reenacting. Done.